So one of the strangest things that we have and we could notice is that with regards to celebrating the birthday of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we all know that it wasn't practiced by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and not a single Sahabi or the companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam practiced this. They never celebrated as a, as a celebration that, that is common in our times. It was never celebrated at all. And above that, the thing that amazes everyone's mind, those who are upon right understanding, is that if they happen to see the fact of the matter they would realize that the day these people or those who are celebrating the birthday of the Prophet Sallallahu they are celebrating it on the day which is agreed upon to be the day of the death of the Prophet Sallallahu and the birth of the Prophet Sallallahu was not recorded at all it is an assumption that it, he was he was uh, born on the 12th one of the many many different opinions that we have of, of various historians who say that he yes he, he was was, uh, or he, he he was born in the, in the month of uh, uh, Rabi' al-Awwal, but when exactly we do not know. So there are a number of opinions saying that it was such day and such. So why did this happen? It was because the recording of that date wasn't given a high importance because nobody knew that that was the Prophet ﷺ. But when the Prophet ﷺ died, he was the Prophet of the Ummah and everyone recorded that date and they gave this date an importance. And for this reason, we know that the Prophet ﷺ died on the 12th of Rabi' al-Awwal, which is the third month of the Hijri calendar. And on this very day, we find those who have innovated the celebration of the Prophet ﷺ's birth, they have chosen this date, which is certainly the day of the death of Prophet so subhanallah are they celebrating the birth of the prophet or are they made to celebrate the death of the prophet a question worth pondering